afternoon and welcome to MC in Focus. I'm Dorothy Mbori. I'm Graham Pearson. I'm Robin Smith. The man responsible for the terrorist attack on, in London on Wednesday has been identified as 52-year-old British-born Khalid Massoud. Massoud, who injured 29 and fatally stabbed one police officer, was known to intelligence services before his attack on Wednesday. Massoud used an SUV to plow into pedestrians along Westminster Bridge, then charged on foot into a parliamentary courtyard. He was quickly shot by police. Parliament began Thursday with a moment of silence for slain officer, 48-year-old Keith Palmer. Palmer was a 15-year veteran of the Metropolitan Police Force and a former soldier. In a speech to the House of Commons, Prime Minister Theresa May saluted London citizens for continuing on with their lives as normal claiming it was proof the attack failed to break the determination of Londoners and Britons. Airline passengers coming to the U.S. on direct flights from a number of majority Muslim nations have to now put most of their electronic devices like laptops, tablets, and cameras on, on the checked baggage. The U.S. gets about 50 incoming flights from eight countries, Jordan, Egypt, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Morocco, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. All are traditional U.S. allies, and none are among the six majority Muslim nations from President Trump's order. Passengers still can carry their smartphones onto the plane, but nothing larger. This decision, decision took effect on Tuesday morning. After the past several years, the U.S. authorities have expressed great concern about the bombing skills of al-Qaeda. The Russian charter plane that crashed in Egypt in 2015 may have been caused by an explosive device. The federal government is investigating complaints on metro trains that they are shaking homes. Track inspectors from the federal investigation found broken track fasteners. The bolts are used to keep ground vibrations down. Metro has not commented on the federal in investigation, but said they will be conducting their own investigation. The issue is said to be on the Green Line on Georgia Avenue Pentworth Station in D.C. The problem seemed to be with the new 7,000 model trains. Federal investigators believe the new cars weigh more than the other rail cars. This investigation is still going on. Rockville High School has received multiple threats to the safety of their students this week. According to MP MCPS, callers threatened to shoot illegal immigrants at the school. These threats came after the national attention to the rape of a 14-year-old student at Rockville High School last week. Police believe there is a connection but they aren't ruling anything out. If you see or hear anything concerning the safety of Rockville High School, or any school for that matter, report it to the authorities. <clears throat> the president of Montgomery College, Darren Pollard, invited students and staff to join her on an, on an engaging discussion about neuroscience and learning in higher education. The discussion took place on Tuesday, March 21st from 2.30 to 5 p.m. at the Macklin Tower of the Rockville campus. Overall, it was a good discussion between panelists and audience. You can watch the full video by searching New Year Science and Learning on Higher Education on YouTube. If you have any questions about the discussion, you can email innovationworks at montgomerycollege.edu or call 240-567-6934. For all you aspiring singers out there, if you're ever thinking about covering any Ed Sheeran songs on Facebook, you might want to think again. Facebook is now suspending accounts that are covering Ed Sheeran's songs, but not just his. Posting any cover is dangerous for Facebook because the social network site doesn't have licenses with music companies. Sheeran stated that the ban has nothing to do with him and ha he has also apologized for the uh, suspended accounts. In three weeks, Montgomery College will host its very own Veg Week, a series of events educating the benefits and importance of a vegetarian lifestyle. MZ Veg Week will take place in April at the same time as U.S. Veg Week 2017 and Earth Day. Each day there will be a different theme focusing, allowing students to explore vegism from different perspectives, including animal rights, health and fitness, and environmentalism. Everyone is welcome for education, food, and fun. And we will be right back after these student-made commercials. Stay with us. Rockville Town Center, a place where people come to hang out, shop, look around, and enjoy themselves. 
there are many variety of things to go into, like restaurants, a gym, stores, and they even have a movie theater. Have you visited or even thought about coming out? What are you waiting for? It's a great place to visit and see. Are you lonely on those Friday nights? Need a place to go? I know that Rockville Town Center hosts a lot of events. Are you worried about parking? Worry less. Because the Rockville Town Center has public parking. See you there. Hi, and welcome to MCN Focus. I'm DeStefano Tonkamp. Today will be 64 degrees in the morning and 52 degrees in the afternoon. You can expect a mild stray of showers in the afternoon, so you might want to pack an umbrella. Saturday, however, will be quite warm at 74 degrees in the morning and 57 degrees in the afternoon. Finally, on Sunday, it will be 69 degrees in the morning and 55 degrees in the afternoon. But expect a shower storm that same afternoon. Well, that will be it for the weather. I'm DeStefano Tonkamp and have a great day. Welcome back. Now we turn to the world of sports with our very own Robin Smith. Thank you, Graham, and good afternoon, Dorothy. The U.S. clenched the World Baseball Classic over Puerto Rico for the first time. The Puerto Rican's team was previously undefeated with a record of eight wins and zero losses. U.S. pitcher Marcus Stroman put on an elite performance to defeat them. Just five days earlier, Stroman struggled against the same Puerto Rican teams but the U.S. team made it back to the championship after defeating Japan. Montgomery College's baseball team has a big game coming up. They'll be playing Finger Lakes Community College today. Root on those Raptors. The game starts at 1 p.m. The University of Maryland's women's basketball is facing off against Oregon State for the NCAA Regional Saturday, March 25th. In sports business, one of the most powerful brands of in college athletics, Notre Dame University is considering redistribution um, its commercial rights to corporate sponsors. Notre Dame is one of the most recognizable brands in college athletics. This university is one of the few large schools who still manages their own commercial rights. But that could all change for the first time if a private company swoops in and pays the school to sell their popular sports brand. That was your sports with MC in Focus. I'm Robin Smith. Thanks, Robin. MC in Focus's very own Calvin Gregory gives us a look into the problems of animal homelessness. Take a look. So these friends of mine knew I was alone and asked me if I wanted her, and I said yes. <laughs> it is often said that homelessness is a problem. And though it is, another issue that many may not consider is animal homelessness. This is the result, <laughs> not the, the cause. According to DoSomething.org, homeless animals outnumber homeless people five to one. Nationally? The ASPCA says 7.6 million animals end up in shelters. These numbers put tremendous stress on animal shelters around the country, which leads to nearly three million animals being euthanized every year. They wait for the owners to come. It's the saddest thing to see. The sad truth is that the commodification of animals, along with the lack of understanding and training to look after them, is a serious problem. I would rescue a dog or adopt a dog that isn't wanted before I would buy one. They are homeless because of basically people ignorance. They don't know what they have in their hands when they adopt or when they buy or when they acquire a pet. Most people love the idea of an animal companion but lack the proper skills and knowledge to care for them. Other times, circumstances get in the way of proper care, such as a spouse with a pet allergy 
or a new baby in the family. Unfortunately, many people realize this after it's too late. I would highly encourage them to research the kind of dog that they want, to know themselves well enough to know what kind of energy they want to put into an animal and, you know, into a dog. And um, there's enough information out there where you can find your match. For MC in Focus, I'm Calvin Gregory. OYMA is a program that was created in response to the surge of refugee children who escaped violence from Central America and now live in Montgomery County. Here's the report. There were tears and laughter and awe as the actors from Imagination Stage presented stories about two refugee girls who had fled from South America and landed in America to find safety and pursue their dreams. OYMA, which means look at me in Spanish, is a story that grapples with the complexity of immigration, especially for unaccompanied minors. I thought the, the performance uh, spoke on a very important topic. Um, immigration is a very crucial topic that's going on right now, and uh, we are all immigrants in some form, and so we need to find a way to make this transition easier for people. Um, it's very difficult to see the situation in schools for the kids when they come. I really wish that there was opportunity for um, the school system to be more uh, integrated for the kids as they come. But it was a very touching and very um, intriguing uh, performance and it really sparked um, an awareness of a situation that really is important in this day and age. For more information and to book a performance in your community, contact evento at imaginationstage.org. Montgomery College students are talented in many ways. Twelve students from across the college competed last night in the 7th annual MC's Got Talent show. The show took place on the Rockville campus in the Performing Arts Center. All the money raised was given as scholarships for first, second, and third place winners. Last year's first place winner got $4,500. What a great event. You can still donate. Just contact the Rockville Student Senate at 240 Five six seven seven one seven seven, or email mcrssenate at gmail.com. Sesame Street is introducing a new Muppet for the first time in 10 years. Julia, a four-year-old redhead who likes to paint, pick flowers, and has autism. Sesame Workshop, which produces Sesame Street, worked with 14 different autism groups to get an accurate representation for autistic children. Julia will debut on April 10th on HBO, PBS, and YouTube but only for two episodes this season. For more information about Autism and Julia, go to autism.sesamestreet.org. Popular Disney movie, Di Disney Be Beauty and the Beast, walled its way into the box office last week, a missed controversy. Theaters worldwide banned or demanded censorship of the movie after discovering it features an openly gay character. The fool played by Josh Gad attracted, is attracted to men and he is shown dancing with a male partner in one of the scenes. Emma Watson, the, ca act the actress who played Belle, says that Josh Gad's portrayal of Le Flu is incredibly subtle. Despite controversy, Beauty and the Beast has earned $462 million worldwide so far. And that's it for MC in Focus today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Dorothy Mbori. I'm Graham Pearson. I'm Robin Smith. See you next time. Have a great weekend.